welcome guys I'm glad that so many of you've commented on my last video with the uh, with this ship the new uh, the green machine I'm not sure if I'm gonna call it that but hey we'll see um, it's a great big green salvager uh, planet harvester um, if you haven't seen the last couple of videos then go back and watch them because they explain how I built it what it's for why is this shape etc I've done a, uh, made a few additions, so I've sort of tried to make this less boxy and I've created a few things. I'm still not completely happy with it, but like I say, I've done a few things to try and make that a little bit less boxy. I put the Mushroom Fleet sort of logo on the side there. Again, not completely happy with it, but uh, it'll do. I've got a new vault door. It looks a bit, a bit more chunky, doesn't it? Um, and it opens fully, so there's nothing left in the air now. I'm using, this is a new thing I've started doing. I've started putting a red light next to the Plex door, which has a faction permission block. So you can see I've done it again in here. Just here, I put a red light there next to the faction permission block. I mean, on this side, it's pretty obvious, but on the outside, it's not so it's just a new sort of thing I've started doing so that I can say if people say how do I get in I go there's a click the plex door by the red light and then they can get in that seems to be working quite well um, like I say I put uh, loads of wedges everywhere there's like these wedges are on everything um, I've tried my best to sort of smoothen out the shape a little bit so you can see here I've done it a bit there um, all the way around the edges of this section here and then obviously all the way along these sides uh, put a couple of like markers just red and yellow marker lights in put those in uh, put a little like wedges the black and the gray wedges there now I can't put wedges here and somebody did ask the reason is because this shape if I was to put anything along along here um, it would destroy the silhouette so this is just to explain on this side these are all covered now if you see here there's no salvager on this green block but if I go to the end of the green uh, there you see there are salvagers there so that means there's a salvager cannon that covers every single block block of this face so in other words if I was going to put a wedge here I'd have to put salvager cannons back here um, there's no problem with that, it's just that it would still stick out. There'd be loads of little triangular corner edges sticking out, and it's bad enough with these. Um, so yeah, like I say, I need I need to uh, be able to cut the shape of my ship so I can pass through it easily. But anyway, um, moving back, I didn't change anything in there. Right, now we get to move on to the biggest change, and this is the most fun, because I've never done a ship interior properly before. I've only ever done bridges and cockpits, that's all I've ever done. And uh, so I'm sort of kind of excited to show you this one, to be honest. It's taken me age well, let me see. It's taken me two hours to finish this all off. Um, like I say, I'm just going to go over these little bits of detail first so that you can appreciate what I've done. As you can see here, we've got like nice lighting roofing everywhere we've got these little platforms each one with a gravity link and as you can see we've got the staircase with the with the glass middle so the light bleeds through and you know the quickest way down obviously hit the gravity unit and jump from the top <laughs> okay so yeah we've got a nice staircase um, I showed you briefly this sort of airlock if you don't want to come in the main doors and obviously this is huge I've only got a needle ship in here at the moment but I'm planning to build um, a little fighter to dock up in here um, okay so let's move on to the rooms so the ground floor this is like a cinema or a briefing room so I'd imagine that the commanders would stand on each side and brief everyone um, I know I've, I've seen a couple of seat designs and um, if it looks like I stole this then it's coincidental because I actually really wanted to steal the ship there's a, a couple of seats which I saw in some nice ships like the Damocles but um, my internet connections down so I'm not able to see them <laughs> so as much as I would have loved to have start steal some chairs um, I came up with these on my own and if someone else made them well it's three wedge blocks so what are you gonna do <laughs> I think everyone's gonna come up with that um, so yeah so we've got our briefing room slash cinema if I just wanna <laughs> depending on whether it's a military ship or not I guess uh, moving up we've got our storage section and I've put like you know little pathways to show where to go everywhere what's this 
that shouldn't be there anyway so we've got like ship parts planet parts other parts and vegetation um, more random stuff like water well, you need, need water on a long trip uh, I got a camera here gla a plex glass and I put like all the different types in there so it's wedges corners so power uh, that's the fa that is a faction module but it is also build blocks and cores because they look kind of similar um, but that is the faction module which if you download the ship because it is going to get released eventually um, that's where you'll want to set your faction and then the whole colors which are in use on this ship okay let's move up to the next floor oh this floors now this was inspired by uh, some photo I saw on Twitter Adam Clark at the common people he made a med bay and it just got me thinking I, I thought oh, I want to make a hollow uh, a med bay as well um, only I've done mine a little bit differently but I've pretty much stolen his idea um, it's minor sort of horizontal I think his were vertical I still haven't had a good look at his yet but basically we're going with the cryo tube with um, a little computer for the doctor to activate and then a monitor panel there more computer interfacing parts so yeah you open the uh, you open the plex door and then there's a weapons computer in there but you can't get in on your own you need the doctor to <laughs> remove this plex door because of course you try and click on the weapons computer and it doesn't work because you are closing the plex door on yourself but anyway <laughs> it looks cool <laughs> um, uh, and there are better ways to hitch a ride if that's what you want to do so moving up We've got prisoner containment, or creature containment, if we ever get mobs. So, we've got the lighting here, and a little bit of a power conduit. And I've used water for the uh, power for the force field, okay, with a ice crystal underneath. So, you know, you could be in here, and you're, like, trapped by force fields. That's why I've used purple for the floor and the posts, because I imagine there's some kind of energy material. Anyway, it's all in your head. <laughs> and then finally we've got a little sort of um, biological research area where we can observe creatures in their habitats, or vegetation rather. Yeah, we can observe soil samples and vegetables from other worlds. So yeah, I'll be uh, collecting this. It's not very accurate at the moment because I haven't you know, I want to go to the planet, find a load of stuff, put it all up here. Um, there isn't really much wasted space, though. I think that's going to be it for this ship. Um, I might change a few things here and there. But yeah, so those are the floors. And like I say, it took me a while to actually do them. But it was so much, so worth it, because it just looks so much better with all this stuff to do. Oh, there's loads going on with it now. So that is the ship. I think I might call it the Green Machine, because, uh, let's see, it recycles planets. That's not bad, is it, eh? So, if anyone can think of a better name, please do get, you know, comment away. Um, I'd be interested to see whether anyone has an idea. Or, but there. There it is. Look at that cinema. You can see the row of seats. <laughs> That's funny, right? Mm. And obviously something else which I didn't really explain, you just press up and down. I think someone did did catch that, but just to just to demonstrate it for you guys, um, if I come out of, I'm in pilot mode now, okay, so that means I'm in the cockpit, in the ship's core. Now, if I press up, or in fact, I just press R, okay, here I am, I'm in the... Uh, I'm in the cockpit, see? There we go. Right, so if I now hit R, push up, and then hit R, I'm now in the back of the ship. See? Pretty cool, huh? Right, so let's hit the gravity. And uh, da -da -da -da. I haven't done this yet, so I just wanted to do it. Obviously, I made this little platform at the end here, even though there's no more staircase. So, uh, yeah, sometimes it's nice, you fly around all the time, but sometimes it's nice to just sort of 
come up to it and uh, walk around, walk around and explore from a first-person point of view, not flying. Um, another thing as well, I found out if you keep it dark in here and light out there, it, see how that isn't that isn't water. That's this is plexiglass. Okay, but I found something out. If it's dark outside, uh, sorry, if it's darker in than out, and I really love this because most games ignore this sort of thing. If it's bright in here, so I've, I put the lights, you can see on the speed build, I put the lights inside and it made the uh, the pattern for the plexiglass like really obvious. And I was like, oh, I don't like that. So that's why there are lights outside the windows, guys. It's not just for show, it's because I wanted the effect inside. I wanted to be able to stand here and get a clear look out the window, which is something you can't do if all of these lights aren't there. Because, of course, you'd have the lighting in here and it would be brighter in here than out there. That's also why it's so dark near the windows. So there's like little. I should. This is. I try to remember to <laughs> say why I'm doing stuff, but uh, sometimes you, you forget to mention things, and it seems like such a small thing. Because I mean, look over here. The lighting isn't quite so different, and you can see the edges of the window. You can see it. And that planet isn't feeling so good after I've been there either. Um, I should finish it off really. But yeah, so you can see how that, I mean, if I put a light here, see that? Boom. Boom. See? Take it away. Just like a real window, basically, you're getting a reflection off the glass. So, um, yeah, and these force fields as well, because of, the, because of the lighting underneath and the lava there, it gives it a sort of sheen. I'm, I'm trying to experiment with exactly where to put the lava, but it works there, which is... All I needed for filming a scene, for example, went, Ugh. it does look like a force field as well, which is kind of cool. Um, so as you can see here with the lighting, you do get the frames, which I wanted them there for effect. But um, right, okay, so uh, without going back through it all again, uh, let's do what I came here to do. Come on. Why won't it let me walk off the edge? It won't let me do it. Oh! That's weird. I wonder why it wouldn't let me walk off the edge. So I've got to jump. There we go. Oh! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. So yeah, uh, that's the ship. So I'm going to fly up to my needle and do a few loops around. And then uh, that's pretty much, pretty much everything I wanted to show you today, really. Um, my internet. Whatever the problem with the server was, oh, that was impressive. Whatever the problem with the server was, it seems to have spread to my home internet connection. And I, I live a couple of miles away from where the server is set up, like about ten, about five miles away from where where the server's server set up. My server's been down for a week. Um, I think I know why it's down. Um, it's actually an ISP problem, but. Uh, I don't know why my internet here is down. I think, again, it's an ISP issue. To be honest, we pay them so much money. You'd think they could do a better job, you know? But there you go. So, there you go. Um, so this is my ship. Uh, don't forget, it's got a little AMC array on there now. It's only going down half the ship, though. But it's still, I suppose, it's fairly decent size. Um, I had originally thought to put like a face on the front of it, but to be honest, it doesn't really need it, does it? You guys can let me know. You can let me know. Um, also, I put like a little pattern on here. I was thinking about putting it on the other side, but it was sort of like, hmm, because I wanted to put writing down here, but I can't because obviously it's all gun. <laughs> you can't. And I thought, oh, I'll just write, you know, in between the lines, but I don't think I, I can read it. Maybe I should, could put some. Uh, I could put some wedges in here and write in wedges or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But uh, this is nearly finished now. It's as good as finished. I've done the inside. It's all proven. It works. I think I just need to make a decent ship to come inside it. Um, but then you could say, oh well, maybe it is finished then. But uh, it's a bit. There's always stuff to do. Like I reckon I could put a few more wedges on the back of this. But other than that, so yeah, it's nearly done. 
So it's an industrial ship. It's only really meant for cleanups, but it's very good at cleanups. Um, maybe I'll make a mech. Hey, I still haven't made a mech yet. Do you know what? I think I might make a mecha to go in here. Okay, right, well, anyway, I'm going to go off and think about that, so um, thanks to everybody who's hit that subscribe button lately. I've just seen a surge of people hitting the button and uh, following me on Twitter as well, which is pretty cool. I mean, I, I put all the updates about what I'm working on up on Twitter. I link to the pictures, because obviously I up, uh, upload loads of screenshots to our Google community. Um, so, you know, if you want to get a sort of sneak peek of what I'm working on, you're going to get it there. So... Uh, but yeah, thanks to everybody who's getting involved because it's really nice to see that when I put a video out that lots of people are enjoying that. So, um, And to everybody who's trying to get in touch to show me stuff, like I say, as soon as my server comes back online, I'll be, I'll be banging on your door, getting me to show you your ships. And I'll be saying, look, come log in. I'll give you money. Show me your ships. But until that time I have to either work offline or use the 8-bit server that's something I've been I've been doing I have been going on the 8-bit server so I'll put the uh, address uh, the address for the 8-bit server in um, and um, maybe you'll see me on there but uh, to be honest until then until my server comes back online I've put a lot of the big projects on hold so, uh, which is a shame, because uh, I was so close to filming my uh, end of season one feature, and uh, I think I'm going to have to make it part of next season now. So, so thanks for watching, and thanks for putting up with me waffling on for ages at the end there. But, um, like I say, big things, got lots of plans coming up, so keep on watching, and I will see you soon. Thanks again. Bye.